first of our Riddle District Footy League season preview videos. We're out here at beautiful Tony Clark Reserve in Macedon with the coach of the Cats, Jeff Andrews. Joffa, thanks for joining us, mate. Pleasure, Sean. How's the pre-season been going at this time? Everybody's flying at this time of year, but how's things going? Yeah, I think we're flying too. No, everything's going good, well. Good. We're uh, had good numbers on the track. Um, touch wood, no injuries. Everybody's yep. healthy, which is uh, which is good, and uh, everybody's enjoying it. So. We've got a new bunch of fellas, a couple of fellas come into the club and mm -hmm. they've settled in really well. So we're looking forward to uh, playing games in a couple of weeks time. Ticked the box last year, getting into the finals, getting that improvement, obviously moving into the finals. But as we know, the final for the way that it worked out, it didn't work out um, with you guys on the winning end of it, as it seemed in the end. But we put that past, we look forward to this year. What is, what is going to give you that improvement to, I suppose, get you over the line in the first week of the finals and beyond? Yeah, look, we... I think we were competitive. That was the big tick last year. Big, big uh, step forward in the right direction, but we didn't beat anybody above us. Yeah. So if you know, if the, if the sides that finished last year are pretty similar, um, and a couple will move up, and maybe a couple move down, but we've got to beat some sides above us and finish in the top, top three or four. And uh, once you have wins over those sides and you know you can do it, then hopefully you can do it at the business end. Bit of fanfare, especially early on in the pre-season, about some of the boys coming down, especially a few from just down the road in Gisborne as well. Tell us about some of the new boys coming into the club this year. Yeah, well, we. Um, we're lucky that uh, a couple of boys were just looking to, uh, looking for a change, mm -hmm. so um, we threw our hat in the ring pretty early and were lucky enough that they decided that uh, they thought where we, where we were going was going to be okay in terms yep. of the right direction. So, um, yeah, so Tommy Waters, uh, Ruckman, Bendigo League, Inter um, what have we got? Uh, Interleague Ruckman, yes. high quality Ruckman, formerly a middle league Ruckman, won a Bowen medal yep. and yeah, high quality player. So, he'll, um, he's coming in, we had Liam Gardner who was with us last year has retired so he'll help us fill that ruck role. Mm -hmm. uh, Casey Summerfield, the captain of Gisborne, yep. another quality um, strong midfielder. He's uh, come to us as well and Matt Knox who is basically uh, the leading foot forward at Gisborne mm -hmm. so he's uh, he's come to the club as well. Have you recruited to a need this year or have you just gone out and got the best available? Uh, look probably a little bit of both. Yep. They, those guys when they indicated that they'd like to go somewhere together and uh, they were all high quality players. It just happened to be that uh, Marcus King doesn't look like his knee's going to come up this yep. year. So uh, Noxie's a good replacement for him. With yeah. Noxie, you know, it's a, key, a key forward, exactly. Um, Casey Summerfield's a midfielder and, and Tommy's a, a ruckman. And uh, we probably would have chased them anyway, yep. but it worked out that they replaced guys who aren't going to be here from last year. So it's worked out really well. How's training been going so far on the track and who's really putting in the hard yard so far? Uh, look, training's been good. We've had uh, good numbers. Um, yeah, blokes shift work and things like that, blokes will miss the occasional session, but we've yep. had good run numbers all the way since November. Um, we did, we know, I've done a few time trials and things, and blokes, everybody across the board's got really good, better than last year and better than the start of this season, so there's been good improvement. Um, flying, big Seb Militic. Yep. Yeah, kicked a lot of goals in under 18s a couple of years ago. Yeah. He's, uh, and was impressive last year, it seems, yeah, well, when he, he got his chance. Yeah, he's, um, he's doing you know midfield sort of times and time trials and things like Good. that so he's really impressive he's still skinny yeah but um, yeah but he's, he's nice and fit for him. <laughs> he's nice and fit and uh, yeah everybody's a little bit fitter than they were so yep. we're really happy which is always a bonus especially playing on some big grounds at the start of the year as well practice match schedule how are you looking how many are you doing before the start of the year yeah we've got our first one against Inverloch yep. which is a week and a half time uh, we're going down to Inverloch for that going down state yeah, we've given the camp the camp, uh, yeah, camp I was going to say that's the perfect kind of a lead yeah, into a camp yeah, no camp so we're playing a game against Inverloch then we uh, have a week off for Easter yep. then we've got two games one a game against Melton and then Kitan dress rehearsal for round one and round one Broadford at Broadford Sunday game All the, the way that round one is scheduled this year Toby Boyle in his credit before he left scheduled it beautifully because the eyes of the league is going to be on every team as they play and you guys the last game against Broadford who played in a preliminary final last year it's a pretty good start to the season to see where you're at I think it's fantastic for the Riddle League. I mean, unfortunately, I'll be watching seven games I think, yeah. over, over all the not, days. You're not going to be the only one. No, but it'll be it'll be really good. Um, I'm a bit of a fan of the Sunday games. Get everybody to go and watch the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure they'll get a big crowd. And uh, from what you hear, Broadford are going to be improvers, mm -hmm. and they played in the grand final. Oh, sorry, a prelim last year, so they'll be. A measuring sticks, it'll be good to see how we go up against them first up. And then the next week, first game here, and it's Anzac Day once again on the Monday against Rupert's Wood. And it's something that the club did really, really well last year with the Anzac Day and taking the guys up to the cross before it and everything like that. And that's going to continue this year, I'm assuming? Absolutely. I think they'll even try to improve on what they did last year. Last year was... Um, they had the uh, the Commando Trust as a, yep. um, we raised money through all of our efforts for that, and we've had a good relationship with Rupert's Wood. They're a good club. Mm. We've had the Cystic Fibrosis Day that yes. we've run 
when we've played Rupert's Wood and, and raised money, you know, both clubs um, chipping in for that. So they've agreed to play us on, on Anzac Day. So yep. look again, we should get a big, a big crowd here. Hopefully the weather's still nice at that time of year and get a big crowd. Tony Clark, I think, great Nick. Yeah, it is. So uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to those, those first two games. Not looking forward to the four-day backup. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's not but, great. Uh, but look, yeah, play standalone games, get a big crowd. Um, and hopefully get off to a good start to the year. No, Joff, very much looking forward to it, mate. It's got to that time of year where the cricket's finished just about. We all can't wait for the footy to start now. Very best of luck for the start of the season, mate, leading into that round one game against Broadford where every one of us is going to be there watching. Terrific, Sean. Appreciate your time. Jeff Andrews, the coach of the Macedon Footy Club, taking us through the pre-season here at the Cats. Keep an eye on the RDFL website over the next month. We're going to have a series of articles and videos profiling every RDFL senior club's lead-up to season 2016. Keep an eye out for that one.